If you've been considering launching a podcast right now, don't worry, you have not missed the boat. There is still plenty of time and plenty of market space for you to have a podcast today. Let's go ahead and dive in. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Successful Podcasting Unlocked. I'm your host, Alicia Galati. I'm the founder of Galati Media, a full service podcast management agency where we help business owners launch and maintain lead generating shows. Today's question is, is it too late to start a podcast right now? Of course, you know that my answer is no. And that is actually backed by data. I'm not just saying no because I'm in the industry or because we have helped clients launch really incredible podcasts. But if you look at where the data is headed and where we are actually seeing the market of podcasting going, there is still plenty of room and space for new podcasts. It's actually quite discouraging to say that the number of podcasts that are live today and actively creating content, that number is no different than it was in 2020. That means that of all of the people that started a podcast in 2020, that number has not changed at all. And we also recently heard data that the number of people who tune into podcasts on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, is now on par with tuning in to television. That is huge. Now that is obviously in the United States that we're talking about. That is incredibly huge. That is a great space and a great market and outlook for podcasts everywhere. But you might be feeling, well, if there are millions of podcasts out there, how is there going to be any space for me? I definitely want to recommend that you go back to our Listeners to Leads episode where we talked about how to do podcast market research that is so critically important, especially when you're going to launch. But beyond that, what I want you to consider is that of the millions of podcasts out there, only about 400,000 of those podcasts, so it usually ends up being anywhere from 13 to 15% of those podcasts are actually actively creating content. And podcast listeners are looking for more information. They are looking for high quality podcasts, which means that there is space for you. And you might think, well, there are 50 other business podcasts in my industry, which leads me to my next point. While there might be other podcasts that speak to what you speak to, no one is you. No one can share those examples and your voice deserves to be heard. I was working with a coach recently who was reading my birth chart and looking through my human design to give me an idea of if the direction I had been shifting my business into was really aligned with how I like to show up in my business. That is really important. It's important that I am showing up with value, that I'm showing up in a way that feels really good for me. Otherwise, I don't show up well, and that is never a good thing for anyone. And what I loved about this conversation was I was feeling really frustrated and overwhelmed and thinking like there are other people in the industry that can talk to these points. There are other bro marketers that are telling you how to launch a podcast. And she said to me something that really I remind myself of so often, and that is, Alicia, there are people who look like you brown women who are struggling, listening to this bro marketer and this bro dude tell them that they have to keep hustling, that they have to do their podcast a certain way. You need to have your voice out there. You are doing your audience a disservice by not sharing your unique perspective, by not showing your face and showing who you are behind the microphone. And what that really did for me was made me realize it's not about me, (laughs) really. This whole creating content and sharing it with the world, it's not about me. It's about the audience. It's about the listener and what they get to do with that information, which is go on and use their voice in impactful and life-changing ways. 
And if that doesn't light a fire under your butt, <laughs> I don't really know what else will. But what I know it did for me, it made me realize it is worth getting in front of a microphone and it is worth getting in front of a camera for someone who looks and sounds like me, who has gone through the struggles that I have gone through, who has historically had their voice silenced, whether it was from parents or systemically, that is why I do what I do. And that's why it's so important that now is a wonderful time to launch a podcast. The world needs your voice. The world needs your unique message. And even beyond that, in a world of AI and AI created content, this is the space to be. A podcast is what is going to set you apart in the coming years from everyone else. So think about that as you're thinking of, is it too late to start a podcast? The answer is a resounding no. You have something incredible to say. There is space in the market for you. The market is on and upward. It is making money. It is moving forward. And more and more people are discovering podcasts every single day. So as you are being strategic with your podcast and deciding to launch, make sure that you're doing that market research and really discovering what stories you can tell, what certain perspectives you can bring that are really going to set you apart from others in the industry. And don't think about those as your competition. When someone goes and says, I wanna listen to podcasts about productivity, they will listen to multiple podcasts about productivity to find the one they like. You are not competing for one person's space to learn about productivity through a podcast. And the majority of avid and regular podcast listeners listen to upwards of nine podcasts every single week. There is a variety. It's just like readers. I mean, those of you who are watching, you can see behind me, I have about 250 books on my shelf. Now, none of those books are competing against one another. None of those authors are competing against one another. Each and every one brings something unique to the table and each and every story deserves to be heard. I really hope that this made you realize that now is a great time to launch a podcast. And with that in mind, if you launch your podcast, please let me know. I want to know, I wanna shout it from the rooftops if this episode encouraged you to take that step. Or if you're looking for more support on how you can launch your podcast strategically, maybe you need some help doing that market research. That is something that my team offers. I am happy to hop on a call with you to see if we would be a good fit to help you get your voice out into the world. If you have your own podcasting questions, please feel free to reach out to SuccessfulPodcastingUnlocked.com. I have a spot there where you can submit your questions or you can always send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy podcasting.